Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to this session. In today's session, uh, we will focus on debt markets, its various main instrument called bonds and using that uh, we will understand what exactly mean, exactly what the phrase interest rate means. So there are four major types of debt instruments. The first one is a symbol loan second one fixed payment loan and third one coupon bond and finally uh, zero coupon discount bond. So let us discuss this each of these debt market instruments one by one. So starting with symbol loan. So I think you are familiar with this concepts what is meant by symbol loan. So in order to understand uh, let us discuss the concept called future value and present value. So, the value on some future date of an investment made today. So, let us start with an example. Today you invest $100 in bank that guarantees 5 percentage interest per year. So, after one year obviously you will have $105 that the investment at its present value of $100 plus $5, $5 as interest. So, here the future cash flow of 100 one year from now at 5 percentage interest rate is uh, 105. So, that at a simple interest rate of 5 percentage. So, you can see here that the cash flow here is equal to the present value that the one that is 100 plus present value times the rate of interest. So, you can read it as the cash flow future cash flow is equal to the present value plus 1 plus i. So, here you can see that the present value 100 plus uh, 1 plus i you will be getting the that, that means here the 100 investment yields are dollar 5. So, this is the cash flow cash flow here is 105. Uh, so, that is equal to 100 plus uh, 5. This is the basic concept a uh, very simple explanation of the concept called future value or future cash flow. So, using this concept let us further discuss uh, what is meant by present value and from suppose if we get a value of future payment, future cash flow and the rate of interest from where we can also calculate the uh, present value. So, let us use this the basic. So, from this uh, what we are going to say here is that when you make an investment of 100 today. So, 100 today is equal to 105 after one year. So, after one year that you are getting some payment that is called we are going to call this payment as yield to maturity. So, in this example the previous example here uh, in this example we mentioned that the payment that you are getting 100 today is equal to 105 after one year. So, that what equates today's present value of 100 to the future value of 105 after one year is called the rate of interest and we call it actually the yield to maturity. So, yield to maturity is the interest rate that equates uh, the present value of cash flows, present value of cash flows received from a debt instrument with its value today. right? So, a concept known as the yield to maturity is the most accurate measure of interest rate. So, in our course whenever we mention interest rate that the market interest rate actually it means we denote yield to maturity. So, this is the one we discussed was simple interest rate let us also discuss compound interest rates. So, suppose take a let us take a simple example today you invest 1000 dollar in a bank for the next 40 years that guarantees 4 percentage interest per annum. And how much would you have saved after 40 years? So, that means what is the total cash flow after 40 years? 
So, how to calculate this? If you apply this formula, you will be getting that uh, cash flow after 40 years is equal to present value that is 1000 that is actually the present value 1000 today. The cash flow after 40 years is equal to present value plus uh, 1 plus i raised to 40. So, that means if there is n number of years cash flow in n number of years if you want to calculate the future ca cash flow after n number of years the formula here is uh, PV that the present value in our example this one is 1000 uh, times 1 plus i raised to n right. So, this is the formula to calculate the compound interest rate. So, this concept that we are discussing here this we will later on uh, apply in the bond market while calculating the interest rate and uh, also calculating the uh, present value of a bond as well. So, measuring interest rate uh, you can see here that the present value concept we take. So, a dollar paid to you one year from now is less valuable than a dollar paid to you today. So, why? Because we know that time has value, the principle that we discussed in the previous session, time has value. So, a dollar deposited today can earn interest and become dollar 1 times 1 plus i one year from today, right. So, that means a dollar paid to you one year from now is less valuable than a dollar paid to you today. So, the simple present value from this, if you were suppose if you got, uh, you have been given uh, the future cash flow, because in the bond market, when the bond market, when we discuss at that time, mostly we will be dealing with the, what you are going to get the future payment, the cash flow that may be after one year, maybe after five years or after 10 years. From that, you need to calculate, sometime you may, you need to calculate the present value of the bond, that means the current price of the bond. So, at that time you need to apply calculate the present value. So, the present value you can exactly put it the this this formula you can translate it into present value. Present value is equal to uh, cash flow divided by 1 plus i raised to n. So, P V is the today's that the present value future uh, C F is future cash flow and i is the rate of interest. So, just using a numerical example, what is the present value of 250 to be paid in 5 years if the interest rate is 20 percentage. So, plugging uh, these values into the formula, you will be getting that the 250 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.2 is that the 20 percent rate of interest time uh, raised to 5. So, you will be getting 100, 100 dot point. 4694. That means the present value of 250 to be paid in 5 years when the interest rate is 20, the present value of uh, this payment is uh, 100, this present value of this payment is 100 and for 100.4694. Uh, so, putting in stating in another words, so if you invest 100.4694 today, after 5 years at a rate of interest of 20 percentage, you will be getting uh, the future cash flow of 250 dollar. The basic concept that we are discussing here, we will be later on applying this one while understanding current price of bonds and as well as the uh, rate of interest calculation etc. So, yield to maturity on a simple loan. So, let us apply this concept to understand in calculating yield to maturity on a simple loan. Suppose if I borrow uh, 1000 from you and next year you want 1400 from me. And so, in this case, what is the yield to maturity from this loan for you? So, you know that here the present value or that, the, that is actually the borrowed amount is 1000 and ca future cash flow is 1400, number of years is 1. So, plugging these values in the formula, then you will be getting this one. Then finally, uh, when you translate this one, calculate, you will be getting the rate of interest as 0 0.4, that the 40 percentage. 40 percentage is the rate of uh, rate of interest here. So, for simple loans, simple interest rate equals the yield to maturity. So, after discussing the simple loan, let us now move to simple payment loan. This also called as EMI equal monthly installment. So, suppose in this case the same cash flow payment every period throughout the life of the loan. 
So, here uh, the formula in order to calculate this the loan value suppose LV is the loan value and FB is the fixed yearly payment or you can also call it monthly payment as well we can convert it into that monthly payment. So, let us call it for the time being uh, fixed yearly payment and number of years until maturity. So, you can calculate the loan value using uh, this formula that means the n number of years what the that because the fixed yearly payment that you will be making this one uh, then what is the rate of interest agreed rate of interest uh, then plug this value uh, use this formula and plug values in this formula then you will be getting the present loan value. Since we just uh, discussed briefly the symbol loan and fixed payment loan the intuitive idea that we got from here we can apply this one in the bond market and to understand the rate of interest there and the present value of a bond. So, before moving to applying this concept there let us see what is meant by bond. So, there are mainly two types of bond coupon bond and zero coupon discount bond. So, let us understand what is meant by bond. A bond is a debt instrument in which an investor loans money to an entity typically to corporate or government which borrows the funds for a defined period of time uh, at a variable or fixed interest rate. So, this is one of the debt instrument first of all and the suppliers of bond. So, in the bond market obviously you know that there are suppliers and demanders. So, the suppliers of bonds, bonds are used by companies, supplied by companies, municipalities, states and sovereign governments to raise money to finance a variety of projects and uh, their business activities. So, the supply the, these are the suppliers of bonds in the market and who are the demanders of bonds? Demanders of bonds as are those people who have uh, excess surplus fund who want to invest in the finance market. They are the owners of the bonds are debt holders or creditors of issue. Mostly these are households and banks. So, we will see in the appropriate context who are the demanders of bonds. As I mentioned just before bonds are of mainly two types one is called coupon bond and the bonds are issued at a coupon rate. So, a coupon is a stated is stated as a nominal percentage of the par value or the principal amount or the face value of the bond. So, each coupon is redeemable per period for that percentage. For example, a 10 percentage coupon on a 1000 par bond is redeemable each period. So, here uh, I just want to bring your attention into one of, one of the issue. The coupon rate is sometimes denoted as uh, interest rate, but actually sometimes in most many newspapers also the business dailies they denote it as uh, interest rate interchangeably. But actually the actual rate of interest that we are going to discuss in this course actual rate of interest is not coupon rate coupon rate is the payment that you will be getting uh, regularly once you hold by a coupon a coupon bond but actually the rate of interest is the actual rate of interest is the yield to maturity this is a, the actual market rate of interest which will be determined by demand for and supply of bonds in the market so you don't get confused with a coupon rate as uh, interest rate these both are different concepts and I would suggest you visit one of the uh, stock market maybe for example, uh, BSE and, and when you visit the markets part there you will be seeing equity market and debt market. So, you click the debt market component and then you can see that you will get lots of information with regard to the bond and there you can also see different coupon bond and zero coupon bond etc. And I would also suggest you visit RBI website they have given RBI has given a detailed description very simple in very simple lucid language uh, what is meant by bond what are different types of bond and how this has been traded in India etc. So, a coupon bond it look like this, this I have taken somewhere from the internet. So, you can see here for example, this one issued by uh, reading company. So, you can see what is on the bottom, this is actually each of them is the coupon. So, this is actually the 1000 face value 50 year, 3.5 percentage, 3.5 percentage coupon bond issued on May 1st 
1945 so this one is coupon so that means every period agrarian period you will be the holder of this co um, bond will be getting uh, this uh, coupon value that means 3.5 percentage on the agrarian period to understand uh, more about different types of bonds uh, the coupon bonds this is in the rbi website uh, rbi website has clearly explain has a clear cut explanation of, of different types of bonds so there is one called dated securities that is dated bonds these are securities which carry a fixed or uh, floating coupon interest rate interest, uh, floating coupon which is paid on the face value on half yearly basis generally that tenor uh, dated securities ranges from 5 years to 40 years the nomenclature just i'm just uh, dragging here um, uh, so for a of a typical dated fixed coupon government securities contain the following features that means a uh, coupon name of the issuer date of issue maturity coupon payment dates that is half yearly uh, minimum amount issue etc so there are two securities with the uh, same coupon and are maturing in the same year so in case there are two securities with the uh, same coupon and maturing in the same year then one of the securities will have will have the month attached to suffix the nomenclature that is 60.6.0.5 percentage gs uh, 2019 feb so i would suggest you visit this website rbi website and you go through uh, then get to know what is exactly mean so in the instrument as i mentioned one is called fixed rate bonds uh, these are bonds on which coupon rate is fixed for the entire life till maturity of the bond most government bonds in india are issued as fixed rate bonds so for example you may read in the economic dailies economic times or financial express that means 8.2% 24% gs uh, government securities 2018 was issued on uh, april 22 2008 for a tenor of 10 years maturing in on april 22 2018 so here the coupon on the security is fixed and will be paid half yearly at 4.12 because the coupon rate here is uh 8.24% for annual so that means uh, every half yearly you will be getting 4.12% of the face value on october 22nd and april 22 each year so this is fixed rate bond fixed rate coupon and another uh, coupon is uh, not fixed rate that is floating rates frb for short so frbs are securities which do not have a fixed coupon rate instead it has a variable a uh, coupon rate which is set at pre announced intervals so you please go through this website and get to know more about uh, these aspects so there is also a uh, perpetual bonds uh, a perpetual bond is a bond without a maturity date uh, these are not redeemable uh, they pay a stream of interest payments at the coupon rate forever uh, this we also call it as perpetuity that means there is no uh maturity date for this kind of bonds uh these are redeemable and they pay a stream of interest payments uh forever so the issuer has the option to buy back the bond after a specified period so the call option is typically for 5 years after the date of issue so how to calculate the the current price of a bond of a coupon bond or we can calculate the rate of interest either way you can calculate the few uh, suppose if you are you you are you are given the face value of the bond um and how in this case how to call and given the current price of the coupon bond uh, sorry the yearly coupon payment also given so in this way we can calculate uh, the present value of the bond so the present value so simply to start with the present value of the bond is equal to present value of yearly coupon payment plus um present value of principal payments so this is the formula for calculating um the present value of the bond that means the current price of the bond suppose if you want to calculate the current price of the bond that the price of the bond also we say not always necessary to say current price the price of the bond that means p the price of the bond you can calculate by using this formula 
So, the P that the current price of coupon payment, um, C means yearly coupon payment, F is the face value or par value of the bond, N is the years to maturity date. For example, in the case when we mentioned in the just, uh, uh, just, just before that the government of India RBI bond that is for 10 years, so, so year to maturity is 10, uh, that exactly that 10 years we can plug there. So, the present value, we calculate the present value by using these two components that the present value of yearly coupon payment that comes this much. So, if this for n number of years, if it is for 10 years, uh, we calculate it for 10 years starting from first to second third like that n number 10, 10 years. Then we also calculate what is the present value of uh, principal payment that means this one the n number of years or Suppose in the case of RBI 10 year bond, you can calculate it for 10 years. So, the par value of a bond is the amount of money that bond issuers agree to pay to the purchases at the bond's maturity and it is also called as face value. So, let us using a numerical example, let us calculate the price of a bond. So, consider a bond uh, with a par value of 1000 set to mature in 3 years. So, the bond has a coupon rate of 3.5 percentage and interest rates in the markets are little bit higher at 5 percentage suppose. Where interest payments are made on a semi annual basis. So, based on this, this information what is the present value of this bond? So, let us start with given this information, let us start calculating the price of the bond that the present value of the bond. So, from this information you can see that the total number of coupon payments is 3 years times 2 that is 6, the total number of coupon payment is 6. Uh, interest rate per period is 5 percentage divided by 2 that is 2.5 percentage. Annual rate of interest is 5 percentage, but the coupon payment is made uh, on a semi annual basis. So, interest rate per period for us is 2.5 percentage. The present value of the principal repayment uh, at maturity is the PV of the present value of the principal amount. So, when you use the formula, appropriate formula, you will be getting this value. That means, uh, the present value of the principal repayment at maturity is uh, $862.3. Uh, what is the present value of the coupon payments? The stream of payment that is happening for 3 years. So, here uh, the present value of the coupon is this plus, this plus, this plus, this plus, this because 6 period. So, you will be see that for the present value of the coupon that you will be getting in every semi annual basis for the next 3 years is going to be this much. So, from this you can see that actually in the formula we have seen that uh, the present value the current price of the bond that the price of the bond is the coupon payment the present value of the coupon payment this plus this. So, we have calculated this here, we can see here that actually the present value, the sum of the present value of coupon payment and principal is the market price of the bonds. So, here you, you see calculate you are summing both the current price of the bond that the price of the bond is 862.3 plus 96.3 is equal to this this is the current price of this bond. So, from this information the bond with a par value of 1000 set to mature in 3 years uh, which has a coupon rate of uh, 3.5 percentage and when the current rate of interest market rate of interest uh, is 5 percentage then the current value or the price of this bond is 958 plus 69. So, this is the way to calculate the um, price of bond. So, since the market price is below the par value, uh, the bond is trading at a discount of 41.31. Uh, so, that means this bond is at a discount bond, the bond is trading at a discount. So, the bond discount rate also you can calculate, therefore, the bond risk discount rate is uh, 4.13 percentage. So, let us now move to 
the next type of bond that is called zero coupon discount bond. What is meant by a zero coupon uh, discount bond? A bond which comes with a, which come with a no coupon. So in this case, the bond is known as a zero coupon bond, and are typically priced lower than the bonds with a coupon because the bond is not come with a, any coupon payment at all. So suppose if you buy a zero coupon bond discount bond uh, this year, so you won't be getting any coupon. Uh, instead, you will be getting only the face value after one year. So look at this. Uh, this is an example. Uh, again, this one I have taken from the internet. So you can see from here that this is a zero coupon discount bond. So you can see here that the issue date is uh, this October 9, 1969. And this bond, zero coupon bond, uh, is due and payable on April 9th, 1970. Right. So that means after the maturity date, the holder of this bond will be getting exactly this amount. One lakh exactly one lakh uh, the person will be getting. So that means when this was traded on October 9th, 1969. Uh, this will be traded at a discount. That means uh, obviously because the person has to get the return as well, the interest income. So this will be traded at less than the par value of 1 lakh. Let us ex uh, use uh, example. One of the example for a zero coupon payment in India is the treasury bill. So the treasury bills which are the, the T-bills uh, which are money market instruments or short term debt instruments uh, issued by the government of India and are presently issued in three tenors namely 91 day, uh, days, uh, 180 days and 364 days. Uh, treasury bills are zero coupon securities and pays, uh, pay uh, no interest. Instead, they are issued at a discount and redeemed at the face value at maturity. So, for example, a 91 day treasury bill of 100 rupees face value may be issued at say 98.20 that is at a discount of say uh, 1.88 um, and would be rene redeemed at the face value of 100. So, this discount that actually this one is the interest income, uh, the return uh, to the investors is the difference between the maturity value or the face value and the issue price. That is the return to the investors. That is the difference between the maturity value and the issue price. In the next session, we will continue the discussion in the next session. Thank you.